as a species, what we seem to have forgotten is that biodiversity, the sheer number of animals and plants on this planet, is our mother of all mothers. She is the source that drives everything we do. Every mouthful of food, every breath of air, is coming from the complexity of nature that is making that oxygen. Over 60% from the ocean phytoplankton, the rest from land plants and trees. She is feeding all life on Earth. She is the source of all sources. And she has been here for us Homo sapiens for 300,000 years. She's cared for us from our beginnings. She's woven into our ancestral memory. For 97% of our time as humans, we've been aware of her. Many of us have worshipped her. All have respected her. We've made connections and threads to her deep source, the essence of all life, the pulsing heart of Mother Nature, the land and the sea forests, as well as the moon, the sun, the cosmos and gravity are all part of this magnificent architecture of life, our shared life support system. And in this last 3% of our time on Earth, we've suddenly severed those extraordinary threads to the Great Mother. And we've somehow in the madness thought we could live independent of nature, forgetting that our bodies, our minds, our beings are nature itself. There's no separation. We were woven into that biological intelligence right from the beginning. We're a product of 14 billion years of this Mother of this birthing. We're literally stardust that's turned into these highly sophisticated primates. But we cannot divorce ourselves from the source. That will be our undoing and has been our undoing. Our vision at Sea Change is really to start to repair those threads back to the source and encourage and facilitate people's reconnection to nature, to the Great Mother, so that we can start to build back and reimagine the biodiversity for which this planet was designed.